Hello friends, this is Frank from Germany and I have to say Happy New Year 2016 and I want start with uh, my new PNP holder. I have this here, uh, PNP platform, sorry. You see it's a millet and MDF and I want to explain all the nice things and so on. But for the first time, I want to um, explain a little bit the philosophy behind this PNP platform. First of all, simple as possible. That's the, the whole topic about this project. And um, I saw a lot of machines. They have visions and so on. Our system don't need a camera for uh, calibrate your platform and so on because um, we use um, uh, accurate position on our CNC machine and it's only necessary you home your machine and before you save your zero point from this platform in your volatile uh, EE prom and then it's enough you home your machine and uh, the machine can start also, the SMD components automatically sorted to the best place on this platform. It's um, um, an easy algorithm because uh, I recalculate the ways from the SMD tray to the position on this uh, PCB and that's all. And then we use the shortest ways. Uh, for all the components and all the pockets and then uh, we can uh, choose automatically the tray uh, where um, the uh, SMD tape lying and so on. Yes, don't speak about it, do it. My prototype platform is millet in MDF. It's a very good material. I can mill very fast and uh, I have my prototype very fast in my hands. I want to explain a little bit uh, this um, platform. It is milled in MDF now. We can mill this in the future in POM or Delron. It's a kind of plastic uh, with, uh, it's very stable and not so temper temperature sensitive or of course aluminum. And the holes are in uh, the side holes here are in very accurate position and we can use broken end mills, you see this here and here, um, to position our platform in every case in the same uh, position. I want to explain this a little bit on my schema. Here you see my CAMBAM. CAMBAM is my favorite program to uh, make uh, G-code files. I like it very much and you see uh, it can a lot. Maybe I can show you a little bit. You can uh, move this uh, around here and so on. Double click and we have uh, the same position and we can uh, use it. Now you see um, the holes are here and here also. Maybe I can uh, select all the four holes. They have a specific uh, 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 diameter. It's a diameter 3.2 millimeters to use this 3.175 millimeter end mills. And I know every man he used the CNC machine has some broken end mills and the shafts are very accurate um, made it and we can use this uh, for our holes. And then you put this uh, uh, on your wasteboard. I can show you the photo again on your wasteboard. And then um, in this wasteboard, I mill it also holes. They are five millimeter deep with the same diameter. Uh, it's the same G-code file, but uh, I use this uh, on a wasteboard and I uh, um, mill only these holes. And then, yeah, we can uh, homing our machine and then uh, it's cool. The position in every case is the same and uh, this is why we don't need a camera for this PNP holder. Okay, the holes, I explained now the trays. The trays, it's the pocket, um, they um, have, um, uh, you can lying um, this, I will show you this, um, the SMD tapes, yes. They are lying in these pockets and here you have uh, some magnets with a th throat. They hold this in position and 
<clears throat> these pockets or trays, I don't know the right word for this, are numbered in the plugin. I want to show you a little bit later. Um, they are numbered from one, two, three to eight. Yes. And the pockets are lettered. I mean, this is pocket A, this is pocket B, and this is pocket C, and so on. And <clears throat> in the plugin, uh, the plugin now is uh, the design of this PNP holder. We can also add uh, a lot other designs, and uh, now is uh, very accurate the positions of this uh, trace. The yellow line here, it's the zero position for um, the trace. Yes, this means um, the suction nozzle also go to tray one on this position and then calculate where is my SMD component on, on this SMD tray, uh, SMD tape. So now we have some crosshairs here. It's not so important. We have also um, a PCB holder. It's only one millimeter deep pocket and we can use the normal material. It's 1.6 millimeter thick and this little holes here are the, uh, the holes for the screws. I can show you again this on my PNP holder prototype. You see, ah, now you see here are the the screws. Yes, and they hold, uh, they hold this PCB uh, to the um, to the holder, and the good thing is you mill this himself, and then it's very accurate to your x-axis. It's parallel, and uh, it's also very good uh, to mill some PCBs. We make auto probe, of course, but um, the differences between the points are not so high. Yes, so. What we have also, also we have a calibrate block. It was an idea for me, um, the right position of this platform. I think a little bit about it. And also we have this tunnels. This is a tunnel for uh, the wire for auto probe. And we can put this wire here on a screw and the screw uh, touch uh, the PCB. And then we have connect to, to our PCB. So next time I want to show uh, our plugin. How get the machine uh, the SMD component from the SMD tape? Here you can see the specification of this um, tapes. Normally uh, you have uh, three different sizes, but normally the same sizes has these holes. Um, they are mostly penal, have a, a diameter of one point. So, uh, 1.75 millimeters. It's the diameter of this little holes here. No, it's a uh, it's a difference between the border and um, the middle point of this holes. And the holes themselves have the diameter where are here 1.5 millimeters. And this difference P null or P O it's four millimeter. And you see the SMD component is in the middle uh, from in the center of this uh, bus holes it's two millimeters p2 you see this two millimeters and here you see also uh, the tolerance of this now i want to show uh, the strategy how i can get this smd component in a video from red fog is not for me and you can see very nice the machine get the component, move this hole a little bit, get the next component and put it on the PCB. And this machine makes this with a nozzle and it's very nice solution. And I like this because we don't need so much te technique. We need only the specification of this um, SMD tape. And now you can see um, uh, my strategy is move the nozzle to the zero point. The zero point is the middle of this um, it's the middle of this uh, hole and on the border and then move uh, our machine 1.75 millimeter in the middle. Go down a little bit 
and then move this uh, four millimeter, go two millimeter back and get our component. It's very easy and um, it's only important you know the outside diameter of your nozzle. Why? I want to explain this. If you see this hole here and you get uh, uh, you deep with your nozzle, it has an outside diameter of one millimeter to 1.5 millimeter, then you have to calculate a little bit because the radius from this is 9.75. Our nozzle has 9.5 and you have to know the difference because the nozzle move a little bit and touch the border of this outside hole and then move this. And this is a 9.25 millimeters. We need this later uh, to position our nozzle to the right, to the middle point of this SMD component. Next time I want to explain uh, the strategy for the pockets. With the pockets, it's a little bit easier for the machine because the zero point, it's uh, easy. The zero point of the pocket, it's here on the lower left. And then we calculate the size of the component. Uh, it's um, in, it's an example here. Yeah, it's a perfect component. I know. And we go to the half of the sides in the y direction and then in the half of the sides of the x, x direction and then we can uh, with vacuum suction get our component and put it here on the PCB um, uh, on the uh, correct position. Also all the components will be uh, rotated with a, a special stepper with a hollow shaft and um, I want to explain this later, but um, he rotates also in the right direction. A little bit complicated. I now it's um, to place these components. Um, maybe you have a, a MCU here, and this is marked with a little hole. Yes, the the right position of this hole. It's in every case um, the display from your package in your Eagle file. Later I want to show you this uh, in a practical session, but now for now it's uh, easy. You put this as close as possible in this little corner and the machine can get this automatically. It's only for bigger things, not sorted in trays and so on. And yes, that's a pocket. Now I want to explain um, our new plugin for the Eagle Board widget. We have the Eagle Board widget. It's uh, developed in the new Cloud9 development area. It's only for the information. Uh, and now I want a little bit proud about this uh, new plugin. Here you see um, uh, our MOSFET board. It's our example. And you can go to the pick and place here. And if you just make a little bit, uh, you go a little bit with the camera behind, then you see um, our, uh, maybe so, yeah, you see our, our uh, PNP board. And the good thing is uh, all the pockets and trays are on the place. You see this in the physical world and it's easier for you uh, to um, know which component is sorted to which tray or pocket. The process is automatically, this means you move your, most, uh, your, uh, your Eagle board file in this um, a browser window and then he recalculate uh, um, the places. It's not necessary to uh, that you put this, uh, um, uh, you configure this. I can show you this. You go to the button configure trace, then a table go open and you see here the count of components. It's only one component in this board. It's an LED. The package is chip LED. Null eight, null five. It's very important. You will see this later. Uh, the rotate of this LED is null degrees, as it's not rotated, and the name in Eagle it's LED two, and this is sorted to tray number eight. 
And then you see also our little MOSFET, it's uh, sorted to train number seven, but rotated uh, around 90 degrees. Then the special thing here is we have two resistors with 1K. It is very important that you um, your value has the same template for names, yes? It's uh, up to you how you uh, uh, input the values, but please use the same, not a big R or a big K or a small K or small R, it's, uh, or the R before this value and so on. If you have, um, in example, uh, 800 uh, uh, K uh, resistor, then you have to write 800 K or 4.7 K, but I can't use this point. I replace this with a stroke or with a, with a strich. I don't know the right word in English. And then you see we have two resistors 1K. It's uh, package 08905. It's a SMD uh, resistor and he is rotated. Both of them are rotated uh, in 90 degrees. And you see here also the names. It's R3 and R4. And both of them are um, sorted to train number five. So, and also you see um, some components, they are sorted to the pockets. And um, this is why um, they are not delivered in tapes. And you have to uh, put this in the pockets manually. This is a diet, I think. And here the big optocoppler. Uh, um, for for our MOSFET driver, it's isolated MOSFET driver. Then we have also the pads here, last PVR, and we have also these pads here. And this is ignored because we don't have components for this. It's only uh, for soldering. It's uh, and uh, they are only mostly pads and so on. You can choose this a little bit in a parameter. I want to show this now. Um, first of all, you can say with this um, uh, checkbox, uh, you want only produce the pick and place G code or you want to produce all the G code. Yeah? This means milling, dispensing and uh, also pick and place. Maybe you have um, a finished um, uh, PCB from OSA Park or from China or so and you want only uh, place the components because you put the solar paste with a normal stencil on this and then you put this in your machine and you want uh, the machine uh, position the uh, components then it's good you uh, check this and say okay I need only this PNP G code. The rotation axis is important for our second Gerbil controller. Um, he rotate the SMD components uh, on his axis. You saw this in a, in a configure trace. Yes, um, it is necessary we rotate this resistor with 90 degrees. Yeah, <clears throat> and this is the axis uh, they are used this. The nozzle outside diameter, also very important. I explained this uh, in the uh, tape strategy. Then we have the next parameter, it's a safety high. The safety high, it's important that uh, we don't touch the screws also uh, in the middle uh, of this um, uh, PCB holder. Yes, my screws have uh, probably 10 millimeters high over the PCB and then I give here 50 millimeters and also a select box with our PNP holder. <coughs> we want or I want uh, to publish uh, some PNP holder designs later, maybe for vertical machines. Yes, they have not so much, uh, much space in the width, but more space in the Y axis. And then we can a little bit uh, redesign our PNP holder. Um, this is for future. And now comes a little bit of the magic, the packages for trays and the packages for pockets. All its a regular expression here. You can see this um, in here. <clears throat> if um, we have a package, this is in special for the optocoppler. Uh, the optocoppler has a, has a package with DIL 6 minus SMD. And um, all the 
packages they start with DIL and end with SMD, uh, they are sorted to pockets. Also, we have um, here the packages for trace. If in the package that the Eagle component has a package entry, and um, this has, you can see this here in a, in a, in a, in a table. Uh, here you can see the package names, yes, and this is a chip LED null eight null five, and if found uh, the plugin this text in the package name, then it's automatically sorted to a, a tray. So I hope I can a little bit explain this with my uh, terrible English, but uh, I hope you know what uh, I mean. You can change this every time, yes, and make this special for your uh, Eagle board, and then you can um, change a little bit the automatic process. After that, you can click on the G-code file and all the produced PNP code will send to Chili Pepper himself. And now you see here um, the, the ways he also may uh, complete uh, the PCB and then he move um, to the tray. And maybe I can make this a little bit, I zoom this a little bit. So now uh, we can a little bit rotate. Yes, and now you see he go, I don't know, it's correct. I work a little bit on this, but yes, it's, it's correct. He go to the border from the tray, then 1.75 millimeters in the tray, go down, and then he move very, uh, very foresichtig uh, or very slow. He move uh, the tape four millimeter up in the X, uh, y axis and he go up and then he go down to the component suction on get it and bring this uh, to the pcb i hope i explain this uh, so you can understand this <laughs> and uh, next time i want to show you uh, the first tests in my basement this needs some time. Also, I don't have uh, the stepper motors. I wait uh, for the stepper motors in China, but I hope you like it. And um, you can test this if you want on chilipepper.com slash PCB. And all the materials, all the G-code files and so on, I want include this in the, in the description of this video. So. Have a nice year, 2016. You're Frank from Germany. Bye-bye.